Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. We're back working in our Trekking Adventures journal. Okay, this has been such a fun journal to work in and so many memories, you know, for me to think about what I'm doing, you know, with what I would put in my own trekking journal, right? It's coming together really nicely. You don't have to read my writing. That's just for me. <laughs> this is your shopping list. All this will be down in the uh, description box below. You'll need your freebie, which is right here. We're going to put a photo flip in today. So that's what we're doing. So I made these things to decorate the photo flip with. And your photo flip should be in your stash. If not, I've got a playlist. You can go back and, you know, watch the stash builders and build your photo flip. Um, this is the, the freebie. Be on my website. Uh, just really cute. Today I'm going to be talking about my trip to the cowboy town. So, <laughs> that was a fun trip. Okay, um, your photo flip from your stash. We built these uh, a while back on the stash builders. Um, little mini series I did, okay? So you've got your photo flip already made. If you did them, when, 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 when I did them, okay? And then you'll need glue, double stick tape, scissors, paper trimmer, a scrap piece of paper. I'm using this one. It's cardstock, double side printed that I had left over from something. I don't know what. And that's only if you want to put a hinge. If you don't want to do it with a hinge, you don't need this. But just saying. Okay. Um... A brayer, vintage photo distress oxide is what I used, and a bone folder. I think that's everything that we'll need. If not, I'll add it in as we go. Because <laughs> what I'm going to do with this after I decorate it, get all these little things off my desk, is I'm going to put this in here and it's going to flip up. That way you've got another place to put pictures if you want or write on that. I mean, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm just very hesitant to ever cover up the pretty if I'm not stacking it, you know, and I'm not stacking this as an image. So I'm going to make it as a flip. Works for me. <laughs> now, if you don't want to do that, you can always just, you know, three sides make you a pocket to go in behind there, right? Or up from down there, whichever, whatever way you want to do it. This is what I'm doing. You can do it however you wish. Okay. So, we've got our, of course, <coughs> excuse me, we've got our freebies all cut out. It's so cute. This, uh, I tried to build the Cowboy Town look <laughs> on here. Uh, and this is the little bottom piece that's going to go down here. These are little embellishments to put on as we go. Okay, I'm going to get this out from under here because I don't want to glue on top of that. So, I hope you guys are having fun making this journal or just crafting along and listening to my stories. Because, you know, that happens. <laughs> okay. Now, it looks like this is a little bit... <coughs> excuse me. A little bit too tall. <coughs> Gosh, excuse me. So I'm going to take some off the top. Um, pencil, excuse my reach. We just have to make things fit right. That one's fine. But this one's just a little bit too tall. So, yeah. We will fix it. And no one will be the wiser, right? <clears throat> okay. And I'm going to go back and do a little bit of this. You know, people talk about their their um, ink getting uh, dried out and stuff. I don't know how they do that. I live in the desert. And I hadn't used this in, well, since last night. 
and you just pick it up and it, it works fine. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to use our double stick tape and put this on and this on first. All right, wherever I put my double stick tape. I'm reorganizing my craft room. That always gets interesting because, because that'll work for that one. Because then you have things pulled out and put somewhere and, you know, and then things move and you don't know where that went, right? Or I, that's the way it works for me. So, let me see what I can find here. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't get these all done. I got these done last night. It was getting late and I didn't do the double stick tape. So, there you go. We will do it now. Okay, so I went to the cowboy town. It was so fun. And when I say the cowboy town, to me, that's Kanab, Utah. <laughs> that's the place where they used to make um, the cowboy movies. All those old movies, well, not I guess not all of them, but a whole bunch of them, they made in Kanab, Utah. In and around Kanab. So, uh, Kanab, if you go on their website, they have this little thing where they say they're known as uh, Little Hollywood. I don't know who knows them as that. <laughs> that might be just their own little, you know, personal uh, thing, but <clears throat> anyways, they, oh, it's such a fun little town to visit. Now, don't go there in the winter because they close everything down just about. It's just a thing. Um, but in the summertime, that is a great place to visit. When I went there, I've gone there a few times because I love it. Um, they have a museum that has some of the, um, the old cowboy movie facades that were just kind of left hanging around, I guess, you know. So, that's kind of fun. Uh, and they've left it. They've left the place, I don't know, like it was back in the, when it was built in the 1800s, I guess. It's, it's beautiful. Excuse my reach again. Um, looks like an old cowboy town. <laughs> and it was a cowboy town. When it was first built, there were sheriffs that had to deal with uh, rustlers and, you know, all kinds of, um, problems <laughs> um it has a, a rich and varied history <laughs> back in those days okay um but their their biggest claim to fame is the movies made there they have an old hotel i'm trying to remember everything you know because it's so awesome if you ever get the chance to go to Kanab, Utah, go there because, dang, it's awesome. All right. It, they have an old hotel where all the movie stars stayed. <laughs> it was such a fun thing. Now, okay, full disclosure, um, old lady in a wheelchair here. They, it's not handicap friendly. All right. So I didn't get to go and do a bunch of stuff that people with two working legs can do. All right, but just being there and you can roll around the outside and you can see the rooms like the John Wayne room and all that. I rolled where John Wayne walked. Ha ha ha. Is that cool or what? Anyways, uh, <laughs> I know I'm silly, but hey ho. Uh, it was such a fun trip. Every time I went, they have a bookstore there that, you know, I had to go in. I still have those books. Um, I didn't get them to, to, you know, redo. I got them because they're history. I love history. And I got them because they're about cowboy stuff and, um, you know, stuff like that. Anyways, 
Um, I very much enjoy every time I get to go there. I just somebody says, "Oh, you want to go to Kanabu?" Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get on the road. It's about an hour ish from where I live. You go to Kanab, used to, now, look, we all know that the pandemic changed our whole world. It even changed the cowboy town that had been the same for ages in a day. Um, used to, you go there, you had to eat at Nedra's, right? <laughs> it was a restaurant that had sort of a Tex-Mex kind of, uh, that's the food they served, yeah. Some of their food I couldn't eat because whew, hot, spicy, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, other stuff was, you know, milder and is all yummy. Or at least the people who ate the spicy stuff said it was. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, I'll take your word for it. All right. <clears throat> so <laughs> we've got our mats on there now. So we've got our little decorations. Um... Okay, I want to put this on here before I put my Velcro on, because, yep. Um, all right, so I thought every time I go there, I think about how brave the people had to be to come out here. I mean, they came out here and built homes and towns and... They had to weather the weather. <laughs> they didn't have air conditioning back then. Dude, it's hot here, you know? So they didn't have air conditioning. They didn't have heat and, you know, I mean, they had wood they could burn. Some wood. They don't have a lot because you'd have to go up on the Kaibab Mountain to get sufficient wood. Anyways, um, they were brave. They were just, I, I admire them. I can't even tell you how much because of they lived in covered wagons for a while. They lived in, I don't know, Adobe kind of homes that they just kind of put together or whatever. Um, I don't know. It's, I'm, I, it was amazing in this town. You can see a lot of the first, how they lived in the old town because they kept the town, you know, historical, like I said. And then the movies came in. <laughs> lots and lots of movie stars stayed there while they made movies. Not just John Wayne, okay? There's a lot of them. Um, and um, so the pioneers that built this town were brave and incredible people, right? Well, there was one night that I found a new appreciation for the bravery that they had to have a few actually a few months ago yeah a few months ago um I wasn't in the I wasn't in the town I was home in my bed trying to go to sleep doesn't always happen for me I have to stay awake and pretend I'm asleep you know but I'll design something like this instead um, anyways, I'm laying there trying to be asleep and I think I'm going to put this hat on. No, I'm going to put this on first. The wild, wild west. So yeah, and I'm telling you, um, so anyways, laying in my bed, trying to be asleep, wasn't happening, designing something. I don't know what it was, but that's what I do. So I'm going to put that kind of in the center there. Then I'm going to put this hat up here, sort of around it, right? Like there. Yeah, I like it. It's a cowboy hat. Um, it was pretty late. When I finally got brave enough to look at the, see what time it was. It was after one o'clock. Um, I didn't sleep much that night, and I'll tell you why. I was starting to get dozy. That's that's a thing. I was. I was starting to get dozy. And all of a sudden, I heard a bone-chilling scream. 
It was so loud, I thought it was in my house. Um, it was not in the house. I, I'm just going to tell you up front, it wasn't in the house. But I was, I was so scared till I couldn't move. I was frozen in fear, literally frozen in fear, okay? That was, I think, one of the scariest things I've ever had happened to me. Um, at first, you know, when you're dozy and stuff, you think, well, did somebody have a wreck? Did somebody get hurt? Did... And then it dawns on you. That husky woman screaming sounded like a husky voice from a woman. That was not... That was not a woman, okay, or a man. That was a mountain lion. Yep. And as that dawned on me, it was close. It was really, okay, not in the house. And I was so grateful because, you know, as I've said before, pretty defenseless here. I'm going to put this wagon wheel up here just to decorate. Um, and when you're home alone, you just go, oh, my gosh. But anyways, I didn't say anything. I barely was breathing, okay, because I did not want that thing to know that I was here. Anywhere near here, right? Yeah, so I added in, if I can get it, where am I going? There, a mountain lion. Yeah, I laid there in fear for hours. Um, and that gave me a greater appreciation for those pioneers. I didn't, you know, I didn't even want to sneeze. What if you had to sneeze? What if, then the thing knows you're there, right? <laughs> It was my thinking. Oh, no, don't make one noise. You know, just be very still and very quiet. I kept looking at the door like it was going to come through my bedroom door. It was it was a harrowing experience, okay? <laughs> and I can laugh about it now. It was not funny then. Oh, my word, it wasn't. So, <laughs> let me see if I can dig out my... Um, uh -uh, not a craft lunch. Tell you, I've got a mess going everywhere because of my rearranging. Um, gotta get my Velcro. Um, so as I lay there, like I said, I gained um, an appreciation for those people who had to live in a, a covered wagon or a, a little dugout thing. I mean, come on, man. That... That's scary. Um, and it's not like you could, okay, you can try to keep from sneezing and making that kind of noise, right? But what if, what if you had a little, a, a baby, right? You Your baby hears something like that and it gets scared and it starts crying. <sighs> then, you know, the mountain lion knows you're there. Just saying. So, yeah, I put him there because, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me put that out of the way. All right, we've got our Velcro on. We've got our, our decorations done. Yes, now we're going to make our hinge, okay? So I'm just going to take and um, I want my hinge to be about the, about the same, about the same, right? Pencil. And I'm going to take that much off. Then I'm going to make my cut about an inch and fold it in half. Okay. Now, if you're not going to hinge it, you, you're done with yours. Just put it down. You know, put it in your journal and be done with it. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's my mountain lion experience. I didn't know... 
that they were anywhere. I mean, I know they're at the Grand Canyon, right? I, you know that kind of thing. They're there. Um, but so they wander around, <laughs> I have learned. And my friend told me the next day, oh, yeah, there have been some sightings over in uh, the next town over, like three miles away. And I was like, well, why didn't somebody tell me? Because, <laughs> dang, already, <laughs> you know, scare the crap out of me. Uh, literally. Well, not literally, but, oh, man, it was scary. <laughs> so, bone folder. Uh, hopefully, this is going to work just about right. Because we're just going to put this on here. I might take a little bit more off that. Um, but yeah, there have been some sightings and nobody thinks to tell the, you know, the poor old lady in the wheelchair, Hey, there's mountain lines around. <laughs> uh, now where it went, I don't know. I just hope it doesn't come back here. I love nature. I don't love getting scared to death by nature. Okay. Those kind of things I can do without, because no. Uh, I respect nature when I'm out in nature. But I don't, I don't know. I guess I don't think about nature coming up here and getting all close and noisy. I, if that makes any kind of sense. Really, it was loud, like it was in my house. and mm, Anyways, so if I were a pioneer... I would have went back east. <laughs> no, I don't know what I would have done. I that's kind of crazy, but yeah. Um, I'm just inking this up real quick before I put tape on it, because um, okay, just a little bit of this and that. Okay, get out of the way. I got this silicone mat down today because I've been experimenting with things for other videos and, you know, that kind of thing. So It works. It's fine. <clears throat> it doesn't glare or anything. I hope it doesn't. Okay. We're just going to put our double side tape on here. And where's my dicky key? Um, come on. Then uh, <clears throat> put this down. Oh, and I told my sister about it, the the mountain lion thing, and she sends me a a video uh, on something, and it had where a mountain lion had got in somebody's house. I'm like, oh no. Um, so, I mean, they do that if they can. I keep my windows closed. But a window to a mountain lion, if it knows there's food in there, I don't know. Uh, I, I really don't. I don't. What am I closing my glue for? You silly. Anyways. Yeah. Back to Kanab. Um, yeah. That is such a fun place to go visit. So, if you guys ever get the opportunity... Go in the summertime. They have, um, I don't know if they call them cowboy days or something like that. And they have a big festival where they have, um, yep, where they have all kinds of uh, cowboy stuff. They have music. They have, um, they have a little trail ride thing. I think it's a three-day event where you go and uh, they have a chuck wagon and it brings you good food and all that kind of stuff. I haven't done that. I've, I've watched it come in before. but <clears throat> Yeah, it's not handicap friendly, so I haven't done that. Okay, let's put this in here. In our, It's over our tent, wherever our tent is. Here it is. I thought that might go right there really nicely. Then it flips up. And yeah. yeah I think this is going to work for this journal really well. Okay. 
Yep. Then go inside. If you get to go there, go inside the hotel and check out because it's kind of like got a little bit of uh, memorabilia kind of museum on the inside of that. I did get to go into um, the museum down the road from the hotel. Really, really nice. Um, where they had the facades and uh, they had leftover movie facades from the building. I oh, hope I'm not getting my head in the camera. From the building fronts where they made movies, you know. And they would have, I don't know, like the front of the building, not the whole building. So just the prop or whatever. It was, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, and they have, you know, just memorabilia kind of things from back in when they made the movie. Nowadays, they just make everything in California. If they, if they don't have it there, they'll just go create it, you know. But back then, they went to the real West. And, you know, the West has a lot of different places, all right? But when you see those old cowboy movies with the desert scenes and the mesas and the, you know, the naked mountains. I call them naked mountains because they don't have trees or anything. Or they have little bushes or whatever. You see that? That's probably filmed in and around Kanab. So fun to go there. Um, yeah. <laughs> I had so much fun. Um... And they had a quilt show one time, too. That was kind of fun. Ooh, those ladies can quilt. <clears throat> okay, we've got our... Get it in, in shot. And that flips up. you still got all the pretty here. You can put pictures here of whatever trip you go on. And if you go to any cowboy town... I went to Silverton, Colorado, and to Durango. That's another fun trip. Oh, my word. Cowboy town like crazy, right? This one's just milder and gentler. I like it. It's pretty. It's small. Durango is big and really not handicap friendly. Woo, that was a job. And Silverton is small, but not. it's just not as picturesque, I guess, as Kanab. Maybe that's why they made the movies there, right? Because it is very... It's beautiful. The surrounding areas, the uh, the town itself. Yep, beautiful. Um, so yeah, if you get an opportunity, go do that. That's fun. Do not get the opportunity for a mountain lion to come screaming at your window of your bedroom and make you think you're gonna, you know, be cat kibble. Whew, that was scary. Okay, so. There we go. That's what we did with our, all the things on our shopping list. We made our, we matted this and decorated that. Mountain lion is there. <sighs> Scary kitty. Um, on this piece down here, I put, in my mind, this was like the uh, Kaibab Mountains. And I, I kind of built up some mountainy things and some, you know, trees and stuff. And then I sort of transitioned over here into the deserty cowboy you know, thing. There's a cowboy and a horse. Anyways. So, that was fun. That was super fun. This journal's getting really kind of closer to being finished. Just saying. I've got a few more things that I want to do. And then I'll be, you know, putting some trims and doing the front and the, the whole, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, just as a reminder, we did this. Squirrely notes. <laughs> so much fun. Uh, we hinged in a page. I'll probably hinge in another two, another one or two. I don't know if I'm going to hinge in too many. I've got, I've got plans, um, for another, uh, I want to make a, I want to open this one up and, but I want to make, um, uh, a lid for it, a lid. I want to make a flap over closure for it. After I open it up, that way it will be like an inside um, envelope thingy. So that's probably what's going to be in our next-ish video where you make a, um, a closure for it. And I may use a stacked image. That way I don't lose any of the pretty. Anyway, something like that. Lots of fun to be had in these journals. Oh, I love making them. I hope you guys are making them along with me.
just really pretty and thank you to everybody who's bought any any of my journal kits i'm grateful like you wouldn't believe um i'm i'm a small business <laughs> uh on half a shoestring budget and i'm trying to do my best <laughs> and you know i try to make pretty things i want my channel on youtube to have value for all my friends who come along and watch so i make squirrely notes and i make uh photo flips and things that that people can enjoy whether you have the journal kit or not um i'm of course i want to sell stuff but hey, i want to i want to make friends too i want you guys to find value in what i'm sharing with you so there you go that's my uh, cowboy town story and the photo flip is in <laughs> so fun okay um the the drawing i'm going to do a drawing 700 800 900 and a thousand so there's going to be four different drawings for a free digital journal kit if you want to be in the drawing just leave a comment any video that i do just leave a comment and i will put your name in the drawing for a free digital journal kit any of them that's in my etsy shop fair game okay you pick out the one you want, I will send it to you, from me to you. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Go to the cowboy towns. They're always fun. And uh, stay away from mountain lions. Yep. Okay. You guys take care. Be safe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. TTFN. Thank you.